Hey, what's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Steven Davidson here in a shave video. I've got three days worth of beard growth, so let's get this puppy started. I've had it soak, and I'm going to go with my usual suspect, the Phoenix Arson Accoutrements Atomic Rocket 26mm Synthetic. I'm going to go with my uh, Supply Injector. Second shave on a Schick B20 blade. These are fantastic. I'll tell you more about these as the shave goes on. And to start today's party, Sterling Blue from Sterling Soap Company. My buddy Jimmy will like this one over at New York City Shaving. He, uh, He's one of Sterling's biggest fans. Uh, at first, I thought it was Christopher David Bailey, but no. It's Jimmy over at New York Sea Wet Shaving. And I'm going to finish it off with the matching aftershave splash. When I come back, I should be fully prepped up and lathered up, so stand by. I will be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'm back. Yogurt, anyone? Check out that lather. Good stuff right here, boys. Uh, the scent on this is reminiscent, or their version, of Polo Blue. So if you like that scent, get the Sterling Blue. If they still got it. I went on there not long ago, and they didn't have a lot of the scents that I used to get. There's a couple on there that I can't get, like Texas on Fire, which is like a mesquite. But unfortunately, I can't use that one because of the fragrance. I don't know how Sterling does it, but they're one of the most economical shave soaps you can get. All right, now for the chick injector with a B20 blade in there. Or supply injector with a B20 chick injector blade in there. And we're good to go. The blade is somewhere between... Uh, Ted Pella injector blades, they're sharper than Schick's regular injector blades, which you can still get, but they're not as sharp as uh, the Supply Black Label blades. They're somewhere in between there. Very comfortable and has no problem taking down my beard. But I'm beginning to love this injector blade. Mm. Ended up getting the truck fixed. Cost about 800, but considering how much I was wanting for a brand new truck, it's don't ask, don't tell. And it, people can't afford that. They're, they're crazy. They've lost it. So it's now become cheaper to fix what you have than it is to get a new one. And with the supply chain issues going on still, more issues. So they can quite produce the vehicles that they need to, but ended up getting two new wheel hub, front wheel hubs, wheel bearings was gone. It made a huge difference. The brakes works better, drivability's better, so we're good to go in that regard. Uh, I'm also going to change up a little bit here. We'll go ahead and do all three passes on here. And I'm only going to show so much, so. I 
what I mean by that is everybody pretty much knows I'm either going to use Cremo shave cream to prep my beard with or the Barbasol 1919 Latherless Shave Cream. So those will, those will pretty much always be in the shave cave and I only use those to prep with so no need to keep showing them. Everybody knows it. One little spot all the time. Very comfortable blade. Third and final pass. Yeah, just got two more oxygen sensors to replace up top, and those ain't too expensive. The two bottom ones have already been done, but uh, they should be good to go. Finish this bad boy up. This is a comfortable razor and I love it but it's nowhere near on the level of my leaf. My leaf and twig combo was one of Douglas Smith's blades is the best. That's just all there is to it, so this will probably get retired pretty soon. All right. Let me go ahead and go off camera and get cleaned up, and I will be right back to finish up the shave. So stand by. I will be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'm back. Let's recap. I went with my usual suspect, the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, Atomic Rocket, 
26 millimeter knot, synthetic. I went with my uh, supply injector with a Schick B20 blade, second shave on this blade. Very close, smooth shave too. I mean, really close, very nice. Just right up in here is where it usually gives me the most trouble. And the star of the party, my buddy uh, Tim Schull over at For the Love of the Shave. He gave me this years ago. He got me a matching set, and that would be Sterling Soap Company's Sterling Blue. If you like Ralph Lauren's Polo Blue, you'll love this. It's really good. I don't know if they'll make if they make it or not. I'll put the link to Sterling below. And I'm gonna fish it off right now with the matching aftershave splash. We're gonna be smelling good here today. Nice healthy dose. Ah oh, yeah. There's a couple of soaps I want to do next payday, but I'm focusing in on another hobby right now. Man, I can't put it up here. I can't put it up on YouTube. Too many. I'll put it to you this way. Too many keyboard distillers out there. Kind that never made a run in their life. That don't know one end of equipment from the other, and I'll leave it at that. And yes, I am legal. I've got a blue bone license. All right. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Take care, and God bless. Later.